everyone. My name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2018. I'm with Philip uh, Glavich of Board yes. Dice. And you brought, you brought A4 Quest with you. Yes, A4 Quest. So the, the fun story behind this game is that this game was a read and play a oh, okay. free game, yeah? yes. That that the name was A4 Press because you could print it on one page of right on A4 formatted yeah. piece of paper. Yes, okay. and play the game. Yes, right. So so that carried on in spirit into this uh, yes. here, people, which does not require you to print anything. I'm yes, assuming. yes. So 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 now so people so they they create so big community. So people decide please print it. Okay. And because uh, we are friends with authors of this game, yes. we decided to let's bring it to the market. Oh, fantastic, okay. So we create A4 Quest printed edition, and this is a solo game, basically. Okay. So we are well known as a company to create a solo game, like Super Mario right. Kart game. Yep. Uh, so we want to be ourselves if we bring a new solo game every year. <laughs> That's a good fit. So How does this work? So in this game, we have a five different quests we can go. At each quest, you can choose one of four characters. Oh, we have a whole series yes. of characters here. Okay. Yeah. So each and are they all quite unique? And yes. Different. Okay. They have different set of uh, strength and uh, health, and also different abilities you can okay. apply during the game. All right. So first of all, you choose your character. You choose your adventure. Each adventure also have their own unique setup. Yes. And some extra uh, tricks inside when you fulfill the mission. Your goal, you start from that place, your goal is to go through the dungeon yes. to reach the big boss. And all very nicely illustrated to sort of show you Yes, it's like travels. comics. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, you, it's perfectly to play with uh, children. Right. So, your goal is to manage your dice. Because at the beginning of your round, you roll the dice. Right. And then you can spend each die is a different action, or can be spent on different action. Okay. For example, we on each spot also we have different icons. This represent hunting, exploring, treasures. Okay. So if you want to do something on that spot, you need to sacrifice one die. It depends on which uh, activity it is. Right. It's triggered in a different way. On one spot, you can only use one of these icons, so you need to decide. Then you will have to progress. Sometimes, to progress, it costs some dice. At this cost, two or higher. Okay. So first of all, you spend one die, for example, to hunting. Right. Then you check. Oh, we have here. This is... Oh, I see. Okay, so there's, there's a little table here for hunting. Yes. And the and various different actions. So, so for, right. for hunting, when you activate a activate a die, you put it aside yes. and check the result. Three gives you one foot, so you okay. can progress on Move one stake. Okay, very yeah. good. If you, for example, activate a die of, of any value on this, you will take an adventure die, here we have, yes. number one, and roll, you got a two. and the result gives you uh, information what you get. In this... It looks like a little injury. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, Fell down a flight of stairs, yeah, okay. Yeah, also, the, you, you can hunt for, for the treasure. So, you can spend only one die, and then you need to progress. Then you need to spend two or higher. So, for example, right. you use that, and Perfect. you progress. Then you can do new These things. Okay. But the game starts when you reach enemies. And then you need to fight them using your dice. That's so, the skull symbols here? Okay. Exactly. So, before you will be able to use this ability, you yes. need to fight with Okay. Enemy. Okay. So, as you can see, you need to look out on how you spend and which dice you spend. Well, what happens when you run out of dice? I assume we're going to spend three dice, right? You need to rest. Yes. And then you can reroll uh, your all dice. Okay. In the most cases, you will die before you reach. Okay. So, because this is. Is a, that how it ends? Basically, it's when your health goes to zero or something yes. like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. You. You die, so... Right, that's tracked, I assume, on here. Is that yes, okay. yeah, so, so this is your strength, uh, your defense, and right. your health. Okay. So uh, you you can progress during during the game to reach some uh, uh, more levels, collect some uh, diamonds okay. that gives you something inside the game. So uh, this is very, very challenging game because solo players want to, like, they don't want to finish the game for in, in first take. No, of course, because then <laughs> yeah. what's the point? Right. Yeah. So those guys create a very, sometimes maybe frustrating, but addictive way of reaching the end of and the game. And do these get more challenging as you go? Yes. Yeah. More challenging and also more tricky because 
something happened in the next episodes, we can say this is the first episode, second. Yes. Uh, so uh, you will need to apply a different strategy from adventure to adventure. And I guess is some of that laid out on, on these sheets that kind of gives you like yes. new rules for each uh, Exactly, encounter. exactly. Okay. Also, each boss is very different in each scenario. So how long would, would a playthrough of, of say, uh, just a single scenario take? Generally? I think 10 minutes. Uh, Depends how quickly you die, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so, so <laughs> I, I think you will die in the first 10 minutes yes, okay. of the game. Excellent, and is this one available? For also, we have a premiere in this, during this spiel. Oh, congratulations. Excellent. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for giving us an overview of A4Quest, and thanks to all of you for joining us and watching. Thank you so much.